YouTube uh, a role play. I did this a couple of years ago. Uh, how many of you remember when I tore up Mr. Carlin? Okay. Uh, so obviously he's no longer here. He's scared to come back or he graduated or something. But anyway, uh, so we had a lot of fun with that and, and asked me to do something similar to that again. So um, I had him send out a, a little um, announcement asking for some game day, some volunteers to come up here and do this. Now, it's interesting to me that this is a sales organization, and no one volunteered to be a guinea pig to do this. Now, Alex and Justin volunteered to fall on their swords for you and do this. I said, no, uh, that's no fun. They've been in my classes. I don't know what they're capable of. I thought it was fun to let all of you sweat for a couple of minutes, wondering if it's going to be you. <laughs> so... Craig, come here. Craig. <laughs> You're going to go outside for three to five minutes. We'll see. This is your prompt. That's all you get. This is all you get. That's all you get. I want you to go down to the end where the soda machines are. We'll come get you in a minute. Okay. Now, the next thing I needed to figure out was Craig's going to be our sales guy. Then we needed to figure out who's going to be the buyer. And I thought about this, and I was thinking, who in here looks mean? <laughs> who looks like they could really tear somebody up? Because the prompt is it's really kind of harsh when, when, they, uh, when he comes in. And he doesn't know what that's going to be. He just knows who he works for and what he's selling. So as I was scanning the room thinking about who could really pull off mean really well, well, of course, the only one that I could think of was Faith. <laughs> <laughs> so, Faith. Oh. <laughs> so is his part, and that's your part. Okay? So, I want you to go out for a minute. Think about how you would play that. Okay? So, that's the starter, and you're going to play off of what he says, and you're going to really work at it. We're going to look at what you decide to do. Okay? Okay. Alright, so here's the prompts. Uh, Craig is going to play a character. He's going to be in athletic shoes. He's going to be selling athletic shoes uh, to a company. So, Alyssa. Yeah. Don't worry, they're clean. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about the smell. But anyway, um, so I'm just going to put these over here. Just kind of does. And I'm going to see if our sales rep notices these when he walks in. Because it can be a very useful prompt because the sales, the buyer is unhappy with, that's about a desk space, don't you think? A desk in there? The buyer is, has heard some disturbing news. She has heard that the shoes he's trying to sell them are defective. And we're going to look and see how he refutes that type of innuendo, that type of rumor, that type of uh, industry sabotage, if you will. Uh, you're going to get customers who are going to hit you with some really interesting things, kind of out of the blue, things you're not prepared for. And that's why I wanted to set it up this way. Uh, I've told some of you before, you've heard about uh, one of the first sales calls I had out east. I went to a company and we'd messed it up a number of times. I thought we had made it right, and I thought I was going to go in there and be a hero. And I walk into the office, and he says, Wayne, I'm so mad at you right now. I can bend your head off this desk. Welcome to Baltimore. Okay? Uh, that's East Coast sales for you, all right? Uh, but, you know, you don't, now how do, I, how do I recover from that? How do I talk to that person and try to get them down from this situation? How do I try to reestablish that connection? That's what we're going to try to look at here, okay? Now, I actually, in, in preparation for this, I decided I was going to go make a sales call just for fun today. Uh, actually not. Uh, one of my former students, uh, she's doing some sales here in town, and she was working with one of her customers, found out they were looking for a sign, hooked me up with them. So if you're not on LinkedIn, you should be, because I did some pre-call research on LinkedIn and found out I had two similar connections with this person, and I use that to enable me to start a conversation and create a relationship right off the bat. So from about 3.30 this afternoon until about 5.30, I was with the customer, working on the sale, looking at the uh, project, giving some basic uh, uh, 
you know, uh, parameters of what we're going to try to do. And so, again, doing this, doing this all the time, trying to stay sharp on what we do in sales. Here's what I want you guys to do as we're looking at this. I want you to write this down, a couple paraphrases. Here's some things I want you to look at. You're going to help me critique this. How should the seller respond? How should Craig respond when he gets this pushback? How did the buyer present the issue? So how should the seller respond? How should the buyer present the issue? Is she going to be mean about it? Is she going to be uh, matter of fact about it? Is she going to be pseudo apologetic about it? How is she going to present this issue? The other thing to think about is how do you as a salesperson refute a competitor without appearing to also run them down? Do you do a little, you know, back and forth with your competitor? Say, well, our stuff, look at their stuff. Is that the way you go with it? How's he going to respond? How can you be prepared for this type of unexpected response? How can he as a seller be prepared for this? He knows he's going in and he's, he's selling a new line of shoes. Should he have samples? Should he have research data with him? Should he rely on goodwill and history that he has with this client? Also, I want you to look at their mannerisms, their body language, their spacing. How did that come into play when they're trying to recapture this particular relationship that they have? Okay. Look for other things. Look for other things that I may not have on there because we're going to comment on those things when we come in. So I'm going to go get them. You guys think about what you would expect from them. <laughs>